intransigent. If you find yourself in a desert, or yearning for one, or a hermitage, or just want to be left alone, then you are letting people get to you. You need to turn around and raise a shield. It is so easy, it is ridiculous. It is right in front of you. Use audiobooks that fascinate you to become wise and become a business entrepreneur to push poverty away. A business entrepreneur is just someone that appreciates simplicity and gets things to grow from within it. They meet up with investors and show them that they invented an investment multiplier. The investor's $10,000 becomes your $100,000 when it passes through your company. Poverty is a huge bully, so let me explain a little bit more. Find a friend who can use LMMS to make workout music. And then get $10,000 from investors or your moms and very carefully use it for advertising. So now, as people search for workout music, you will come up in ads or on video sharing platforms, social networks, and so on. Now, show them that your dance songs come in a range of beats per minute. But that requires a sign-up. Give everyone lots of free stuff so that they can actually get healthy, but do charge for all the extras that end up costing you money so that everyone can see you are being fair, including fair to your investors. Sell merch and swag, get a couple of dancers, and a video editor to create iPod commercial-like dance videos. Show your investors what you have. Help them learn cutting shapes and shuffle dance. Let them become your friends. Let them get excited about a new fitness program. Do the water dance to get jiggly with it. And let us get you shredded with finely shredded lettuce as we scientifically lower the caloric density of your daily food intake. As soon as this business fails, or starts failing, get serious about publishing a series of articles. Write about what not to do, and how to learn from failure, and what to do next, and then take your own advice. Keep failing, always aim to fail, until one day you will notice, with all the stuff going on, one of your companies is just freakishly upside down backwards refusing to die and keeps freaking growing. Give your investors a fair share, lots of merch for their grandkids, and from now on, use the money that your company makes to expand the company further. Failure happens for random reasons, probably mostly because your little company exists before the technology is there, or before people are ready for it, or after they moved on and now think differently than you do. So you just have to keep trying, keep failing. The investors know that odds are something like 1 in 10. They will keep helping you, so as long as you keep learning and improving every time you launch a new company. It is not so much that their money is lost, investors are good at risk management, it is that your company must take a certain amount of money in and multiply it to make you happy, to make them happy, and make the customer happy. There are some so-called advanced tactics, like giving away free bandwidth until you are the world's leading platform, and then inject ads that are really hard to remove from videos, until you crush and strangle the company for maximum profit. But forget that. We are creators, not destroyers. Most of the advanced tactics are just worthless and heartless ideas and creepy candy wrappers. They teach little, and the big profits mean little. Plus, the people will know to avoid you. 
advanced tactics are anti-patterns. So don't let anybody put you down because you believe in wholesome fitness, really simple search engines, or crazy little apps that make amazing music by just hitting the randomized settings button. The more advanced their ideas, the more dishonest they are. You be good. Do no evil out of an intransigent mind. And you won't regret it come your golden age. Finding a source of wisdom, a solid source of information about the bounding conditions of life on earth and the human condition, will knock you out of bed and plop a tent and a backpack on top of your head so that you may have a good look at the world and who you are. And then, messing around with business, maybe even before high school, will make poverty less scary. Poverty is not your fault. Poverty is a symptom of immature governments. Governments driven by underrepresented communities and confused policymakers. Get together with your friends. Maybe fly a drone to take wedding photos. Or just take photos of the city you live in to create a beautiful brochure where you can charge money for ad space. Or just sell stock videos and photos. Or create a racing circuit for the drones, complete with mind-blowing miniatures and drone-blowing obstacles that you capture in slow motion to make the drone owner's heart sink even deeper as you hand them the box of smoldering plastic parts. Practice and passion and interesting ideas will combine together to help you create with other high schoolers who don't want to rise up against memorization, won't understand, and quite honestly, heartbreakingly so. It will be a shiny, fascinating, strangely heavy, and kind of uncomfortable to hold, oddly, always wanting to spill in you, and terribly nerdy, but somehow comfortably geeky, design portfolio of amazingness. The way people get their diplomas today should be wrong. The way it should be done is you take a design portfolio, specifically and deliberately crafted and recrafted to show who you really are, and share it with schools, investors, and companies that care about uniqueness, invention, and originality. It should include photos of all your inventions and smiles dating all the way back to middle school as you fiddle with a Raspberry Pi Zero and a DAC hat to show off a variable song beat music player. Send it out. And when you get accepted to Harvard or Brown and MIT, visit for a semester, but largely decline. And carry on your work. And keep sending your portfolio around until people figure out that you are teaching them to follow. And then just wait. Wait until universities that aren't brain dead from mediocrity and the status quo deliver a diploma to you for all the achievements and inspirations that you brought into the world. Let your lifetime be a lifetime of achievement. Let it be the new template for success. Show the world that you understood early on that when a company says, do no evil, but then changes their mind, they are simply announcing that they finished doing all your research and now have opened the doors for you and your investors to replace them. And not with more brainless AI, but with a mechanical Turk-based intelligence, one that will help people all around the world to have enough money on their card for a meal and the roof over their head. Let the other kids memorize in the dog and pony show that the confused teachers put up these days. You go. 
you go and show the world what an authentic, intransigent mind is capable of.